Hello again, and welcome to part two of the Programming Your Amiga series. In the previous video, we looked at installing AMOS on Windows, and I realized not everybody has Windows. So in this episode, we're going to look at installing AMOS and an Amiga emulator for Linux and Mac OS. Let's get into it. So the first thing you need to do is go to fsaue.net and there you'll be able to find the downloads. Individual distributions have got their own installer and you just have to run a couple of command line commands. So copy the repo command, so that adds a repository to your list of repositories. You're going to run this as sudo and then you need to also install fsuae. You want the launcher and optionally you'll want the arcade as well. The launcher allows you to use a GUI to set up the configuration. and it'll add the icons in for you. In my case, I get the arcade in games. And then if you scroll down to system, you get the launcher and uh, the arcade there as well. And if you launch the launcher, that allows you to set up a configuration. Now, the MacOS is very similar in that there's a dedicated download and you can choose to have the launcher and arcade or just the app and either way you're going to need roms as mentioned in previous videos amiga forever is where you're going to get the roms from in this case because we don't have windows we need to download the cd image and that's going to have all the roms and it'll just suck those in and import them you don't have to do any renaming it does it all for you it knows where to look for them so you just find that image mounted and it will import all of those in for you now you can add them individually if you've already got them downloaded on your machine but this just makes it easier to switch between configurations and then create a new profile and choose which machine you want to emulate and which ROM. So I'm going to use the 3.1 ROM here. And then as far as configuration is concerned, just make sure you keep saving it. And I just basically max it out. I don't know what I'm doing with this. I don't know what configuration is correct. I just essentially give it lots and lots of RAM, fast RAM, video RAM. And it does complain that I've got the wrong configuration, but it works anyway. While you're developing, you might as well have the just-in-time compiler and the floppy drive speed maxed out. But once you're wanting to test your programs, you'll probably want to emulate uh, 
specific CPU and not have just in time compilation, you'll want it to run at the speed of the original computer. FSUAE can use hard drive files and floppy drive files. You can create new ones from the FSUAE launcher menu or you can use directories. So if you've already got a boot drive that you like the configuration of, you can use that. You can use an existing folder that is on your machine or you can use a downloaded drive configuration from one of the many that are shared on the internet. In our case really all we need is to boot into Kickstart 3.1 Workbench because we're going to be adding Amos. Except it is fun to be able to play games so if you've got a games collection with WHD load games you might as well have that as well. Next we're going to want to download Amos and I'll put the link in the description below but as with the previous video there's a github repository with the latest updated files. All we want is the Amos folder within that but we can download the zip and just grab that folder once it's extracted. 